those niggas got it, see? They got it over there, and they trying, you know what I'm saying? And you want to go over there with a club and pop them upside the head to get there. But our family God tells us that we afford success because it also shows the proof that we can be successful. I don't have to envy you your success. I'm glad that you have it. I want you to be happy. I want it to be comfy. I want it to be with you forever. You earned it. Whatever it is, I don't care. Okay? When I get mine, and I'm God like that, I'm going to get mine. <laughs> I don't want you to be happy either. And then imagine where all the problems are going. You don't have to say, thou shalt not steal. You know what I'm saying? Because you're opening your doors. Do you need anything? <laughs> you're asking before I need it. You know what I'm saying? I just went out and I, I was fishing. Can you use a couple of these here? You know what I'm saying? I just went out there in my backyard and picked a couple of coins. Yo, man, you need two? Where? You got a piece of cow? Oh, man, I'm going to have a party. Call everybody. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? But where does it start? We tell them about it. Let's be examples of it, one to another. And this is just, all this is is a seed to show you that it can work. We do not build ghetto, we build empire. When do you start thinking like the emperor? And not with that ego bullshit that you've been on. <laughs> that's your brother king, and that's your sister king also. You see what I'm saying? You don't see them sisters yesterday. Mm. No, no, let's stop yeah, that all. Y'all was flabbergasted. I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> that was on God. See, and I, I think I was the only God that was looking oh, oh, oh. this way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is the whole thing. You play the drums and you see these little babies. Jesus, freak out. And that's it. Do you realize what that is? He restored your soul. We have genetically, spiritually, emotionally, physically chosen to be better. Make the sacrifices and, and now when we bring the little gods and the little goddesses come through, oh, they hit you with some hardcore facts. Grandma died. Everybody, <laughs> oh, you can't come in here, baby. <laughs> Right, right, right. <laughs> Reality check. Man, I told my wife, my children, I said, when I go, if you cry, a hand is coming out the cloud. <laughs> Have a party. You know what I'm saying? Let them know that father was about it, about it. You see what I'm saying? And it don't matter. That devil cannot do anything to me that is not meant to be. And if it's meant to be, then that's great. You know why? Because Obi-Wan, when last we met, I was. But this one is not. I am the master. But, <laughs> Darth Vader, let me tell you something. If you get me this time, I'm only going to be stronger from the other round. Right, right. Carry on. Put the sword down. What you going to do? <laughs> huh? Oh man. Be real. Y'all hear some of y'all that has anyone, you know, I don't want want to deal with no spookism, has anyone ever heard a buzzing in their ear? So, uh, those of you who don't know, they're crazy. Actually, you can be influenced from spiritual levels, agreeably and disagreeably. One day, that you you might develop that so powerfully that people say, turn left. <laughs> Don't go down that block. And you have built those things. Huh? You you leave the party, you know, this is nice, but it's not, I, don't, I don't feel it. I'm going home, find out there was a shootout in that same wall where you were saying, there's three bullet holes. Huh? What are we trying to save you? But you listen, and you know how many people are in jail and in the cemetery before they get knocked? I knew I shouldn't have gone down that block. You know what I'm saying? I knew I shouldn't have let Joe tell me to go down. I don't even look for something. And you have the drugs. What's it? Huh? Now, so you start developing that. You know what I'm saying? 
you're going to get more out of it. It's like a bag. You put a little bit more in, you get a little bit more out of it. So those that are doing exercises, doing discipline, are really about the body. And that doesn't mean don't have fun. You know, I'm crazy. Anybody that knows me knows I'm absolutely insane. <laughs> but I got to do something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm you, you're me. I don't care. I want to have fun. Okay? But a master has to be able to distinguish between their mission and their desire. So guess what? You know what I'm saying? If y'all stay and y'all having fun, I see the smiles on everybody, I'm happy. Okay? So for how many years was I running up but wow, doing whatever I thought this was my thing. Right? And that then we go right back to the little ones. This is why you need to have your own land and do this for them. This is why you need to get down and stop bull squatting, okay, and be about it, about it. You see how these kids sleep at night? They've been running up and down on their land, mud, man, they, they got stuff you don't even know. They got mud in their toes, in their butt, in their ears. Hey, some of them, I see this little one, oh, he was so cute, about her size. And he grabbing rocks. <laughs> his mama was cool. His mama was cool. It's like clean dirt. You ain't doing, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got these chemicals in his mouth. He's gonna do it anyway. So she's like, you know, just don't swallow the rocks. <laughs> Whatever. And it's all good. You see? But we gotta give them outlets. Y'all was climbing trees, bopping each other upside the head. Y'all had big wheels. And you know what I'm saying? Everything that you can imagine, you have fun. Now you still have fun. You go out to the movies, you go to the parties with your wife, and you leave somebody watching your kids. Your kids are prisoners of your mentality because you're so afraid something's going to happen to them. Like, nothing's going to happen to you, but you're going to go to the party. Nothing's going to happen to you. We don't have shootouts, you know what I'm saying? We don't have fighters, you know what I'm saying? A 747 ain't going to land on your building, right? <laughs> But you, you, you know, you spook it out with the kids. Oh no, I care for them so much. <laughs> then you don't go nowhere. Your kids can't go. Let's mm. keep the band. Mm. That's why right. all the movies gotta be G. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna watch a whole bunch of Dalmatians. Just <laughs> 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 that and the other thing. So let's forget about all that murder and killing and all the stuff you don't want in their minds. But you so hypocritically accept it. When we start being real within ourselves, when we start making the change, and I ain't gonna tell you that I didn't want to see Blake. <laughs> okay? I still ain't seen Matrix. I don't know. I'm fighting, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm fighting powers. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the same thing. When you know, you know, you really, it, it, it's not easy being tough. I'm not gonna even, you know, no, no, no one that's ever acknowledge their divinity for a moment and tell you this easy because when you start putting the cigarettes out in your house for some of the people listen, I don't want my baby dying because of your secondary smoke. And I know people that have done that. Okay, a seventeen year old daughter died. Her father's still alive. Who killed her from secondary smoke? Can you imagine the burden that this man was having? So help yourself and help your future. Do the right thing. This Enjoy yourself. Thank you.